again guys in a video that is to some degree at least a follow-up to a video about Waffentäger which I made where I basically said that Waffentäger is OP so this game I consider is a good game even though it starts a bit badly let's say you can see <laughs> my sick driving skills and the fact that my team didn't spread we didn't go for both bot groups which is a bit of a mistake and I try to fix it by going alone versus that second bot group and you will see just in a second that it was a bit of a mistake I didn't expect that the guy here and that he will go for me when I'm alone. At least I got something out of it and I kill Lux, mainly by ramming him. And now you will see a big mistake made by Waffentäger. He knows how to deal with me behind this building, but he doesn't understand that this is a big waste of time. I will be able to avoid him at least twice with medkit and speed boost and now I will do what really has to be done <laughs> could go for that second building but well I didn't <laughs> but I'm still happy with the result I mean that guy just wasted over one and a half minute to kill me one tank and my team meanwhile killed four bot groups and is going for the fifth one they lost only one tank and as far as I understand he was ramming too hard so basically he killed himself and this is the moment where my team should spread but I guess they didn't notice I died or maybe they are you know in a killing spree so well we will pay for that with one more tank two more tanks and well it's not a big deal right now because we are still ahead but well it's a mistake nonetheless now I decided to you know do some damage because for most part of this game I was playing <laughs> with Waffentrager and well I was a bit greedy I mean I thought this position is much better than it actually is but I got support so these tanks won't survive long enough to deal enough damage to me it's uh, still a waste, at least in my opinion. I will be a one shot for a Waffentäger. I have to be careful and do whatever I can to avoid our Waffentäger, which is suddenly, well, more aggressive than before. At least, I think. No, not really. He just turned and he's going back for that first group of bots. Well, I don't understand that at all, but you know, it's okay. Maybe that one guy down there is, you know, someone special? Maybe he's more worthy than we are? Who knows? So far it's going great. I mean, we have 7 energy upgrades for 4 tanks. We only lost 4 tanks. And one of them, at least, was killed by bots or... I should say by his own stupidity, but whatever. 
This is going great and as far as we don't screw it up, it will be a good game. Good and easy game. And again, this is mainly because Waffenträger is bad. I said it many times in my Waffenträger video that this is all about Waffenträger, how good he is. Because our team isn't great, at least we have one, maybe two bad players and we didn't do anything great. I mean, I baited that Waffenträger to waste a lot of time, but if he was smart, he wouldn't go for that. He would leave me and go for six players, slaughtering his bots and getting upgrades. Now I don't know if my guys are going for Waffenträger or bots, but whatever, I will go for bots, for time, for damage upgrade. I am a bit scared to go alone because these are high tier bots. They can deal a lot of damage and as far as I know they use HE rounds. So side scraping doesn't always work. But you should always do that. As you can see, I bounce much more damage than I'm taking. And now when my friends are here, it will be much easier to deal with them. Bots always try to use their frontal plates against you. But it won't work if there are more than one target you are fighting. And as you can see, I have at least two friends. I don't know if the guy behind me on the hill is shooting them too, but probably yes. This is the biggest advantage you have against not only bots, but Waffenträger itself. You can see how these reinforcements changed everything. It's much easier for me, not only for me, for all of us. Suddenly they are dying like flies, but now you will see, well... This wasn't the smartest idea I have ever seen. And that's the proof that our team isn't super great. This guy basically killed himself and well this is good game and everything is going great but it doesn't mean you can, you know, throw your lives away like that. It's always possible for Waffenträger to come back. And you will see that this game will be maybe not really close one, but it won't be as clean as you think it should be. Now, I don't know why Waffenträger left his last bots, because you always want to use them as long as you can. As spotters, as damage dealers, as sponges for damage. But, well, we will take it. It's always a nice bonus for time and for damage. Our only objective now is to kill Waffenträger itself. Well, it won't be easy because he didn't fight most of the time. As you can see, he still has a lot of HP. But he knows that he has to hide somewhere. But the choice of the place is, well, not super bad, but not very good either. I mean, we can still attack him from at least two sides. And if he won't be smart about it, maybe from even more sides. This is the problem you get, especially against smart players. Because they will always find a good spot where you have to go pretty much into close combat in very narrow corridor or something like that. On this map I would go for that beach in right top corner. Hides behind uh, maybe building, maybe rock on the beach, I don't know this place exactly. And that would be a much harder place to fight. You can also see how hard hitting fully upgraded Thunderbolt is. As Waffenträger you have to be really careful at this point with your HP pool. Because as you can see it's melting very very quickly if you are not careful. And I don't know what's wrong with this guy because he only looks in front of him. Even though he has two guys behind him. 
I don't know, honestly. Maybe it's because, well, he thinks his turret traverse is bad? I don't know, but, well, I won't die unnecessarily. Well, I could, but I didn't. And I will let my guys to finish the job. And that's the point of this mode and playing as Thunderbolt. You have to play for your team. But now, I will gladly put one, maybe two, only one shot. And as you can see, it was great game, but even with bad Waffentrecker, we lost fully one guy and most of us had one, maybe two lives and less than one minute. So this only proves that Waffentrecker is too OP. We fought against very bad Waffentrecker and well, the beginning was great and mid game was great. But the last part you have to fight Waffentrecker itself and against smart player in very OP tank on his terms because he is choosing the battlefield. It is sometimes impossible to win, in my opinion at least. Unless you have great players with great team play abilities. With that positive conclusion, see you soon guys and stay safe.